Hey everyone, it's Melissa again. Um, I have updated my nail polish space, so I thought I would do the second part of this video. Um, it's in good working order now, it's taken me a few days, I've rearranged it a couple of times, um, and I think I finally have it to where I like it. So I thought I would do this video um, showing you what my space looks like now. So there is nothing left in my closet. There's an empty nail polish rack in there and that's it now. Everything was taken out and it's all right here. So I will get into it now and show you. So my ribbon shelves are exactly as they were. Um, I have bought quite a few nail polishes in the past few days, so it's kind of, it's a little rearranged. Um, I had to double stack my color clubs, as you can see right here. Didn't have enough room for them, and they will probably eventually make their way into the dresser down here. But for the time being, they are up there. So yeah, this is what it looks like now. Um, I've just rearranged my desk, but pretty much you've pretty much seen all of this stuff here so far. And my lamp and my iPad playing Buffy, of course. <laughs> Inside my drawer now is minimal things. Um, my glasses case, I should probably put my glasses in the case. Um, some nail buffers, false nails. I actually, I never use my false nails. I just thought I would shove them in the back of this drawer because as you can see, the drawer goes back really far, but it doesn't pull out very far. So I just have those back there because I never use them and it will help stuff from sliding into the back of the drawer. So yeah, some pens and just random papers and receipts. Um, this is my tea bag that I use for um, patching my fingernails. Um, this is the best way that I've found to patch a break so far. Um, I'll probably eventually do a tutorial on that. My camera stuff and my metal or my wire cutters. So that's what's in there now. Really minimal and simple. And then we come over here. And this is where I have my light box now um, on top of this. Ikea Alex 6 drawer dresser that I purchased to hold all of my nail art supplies. Um, I don't love this setup either. Um, I like that it's up off the floor now at least, but I don't love the way that this looks. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking I might need a smaller light box just because I really don't have space for this large of a light, light box and I don't really need this large of a light box. So I think I'm going to try and find a smaller box and make a smaller one. And when I do, I'll be sure to um, film a tutorial on that. Because as you can see, my lamps here are hanging off the side. And on this side as well. They're just hanging off the side. And I don't know, I'm just not a fan of it. I need a little bit more space for this. So just make it smaller. So let's get right into the drawers now. This is what it looks like. Um, it's got six shallow drawers on the top, and then six slightly larger, thicker drawers on the bottom. You can store nail polish in these three bottom drawers, but these three top drawers are too shallow to store nail polish. But they are perfect for your everyday nail supplies. So this is what's in the first drawer. I have all my cuticle creams and strengthening creams on this side right near my bed so at night I always remember to put on, like I kind of have like a nightly nail routine. And then I have my cuticle remover and just hand cream and then my nail buffers that I use. Yeah, just a bunch of random stuff, nail wheels. Glue and little cups for water marbling and acetone and all that kind of good stuff. So that's what's in there. Some scrap paper. I like to write down when I'm doing a manicure how many coats there are, what polish I'm using, if I use top coat, if I don't use top coat, all that kind of stuff. So when I write my post on it on Instagram, I always 
I always have it written down. I know exactly what I did because sometimes, like I said before, I swatch several at a time and I could lose track really easily. So that's what's in there. So now in the second drawer, this is probably my favorite drawer. <laughs> it's got all of my nail art glitters in it that I just purchased recently. And then sponges back here, and flocking powder, and more glitter, and tape, and empty nail wheels, and wheels with rhinestones in them, my studs, more rhinestones, Swarovski crystals, striper polishes, not a huge, huge fan of striper polishes. Um, why? I couldn't really tell you. I'm just, I just prefer, I guess, maybe shorter length brushes. But, yeah, so that's that. <laughs> More nail art supplies. As you can see, it all it's all just, because the drawer is so shallow, you can really display all of your stuff and be able to see everything. And I really like that. I thought that the shallow drawers might be a pain because they are so shallow, but I really enjoy the way that everything is just kind of set out and laid out in front of you, and you can really see what you have. And this next drawer is kind of just a random drawer. <laughs> Not full of random things, but a hand cream drawer. It's just kind of, I don't know. I will probably, once my collection grows, this drawer won't exist anymore. Um, but for now, I just keep my hand creams in here. And these are the ones that I'm currently loving at the moment. Um, the brand names anyways. I really love the OPI Avo Juice. This is great for like your office desk or something, you know, when you can't have hand cream sitting on top of your hands, the OPI Avo juice sinks right into your skin. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. And then I just have some body lotions, which I don't use for my body, I just use for my hands. And then some more, these are the triple moisture ones. They're a lot greasier, but I really like them for after I do a manicure or before bed. They're really great. They're really moisturizing. And then I have my favorite body butter, which is the Body Shop Peach Body Butter. And I have a backup back here too. And I also have one in a giveaway that I'm currently doing on Instagram. Um, just some more random hand creams. So this is the first deeper drawer. And in here I have a box of Kleenex, um, my paint palettes, paint brushes, a little acrylic paint set, some more acrylic paints, and then all of my acrylic paint. Um, as you can tell, I like the Americana brand. It's probably my favorite, but specifically in the Americana brand, I like the gloss line the best. This stuff here, it's Americana Gloss Enamel. Um, it's for wood, glass, ceramics, etc., etc. I like this stuff the most. It's the stuff that you need, you, you don't have to water it down as much as the regular paints. Um, so yeah, I really, really love that stuff. So yeah, that's what that looks like. That's all my painting supplies. My next drawer down is a polish drawer. Now, this is just a regular dresser. This bottom piece here is really thin. So I don't want to fill these drawers up completely with nail polish because if I do, the bottom eventually is going to buckle and the dresser will be ruined. So my solution to that, and we'll see how it works in time, but um, is putting polish on the sides of the drawers and not filling the drawer completely. So I'm going to see how that works and let you guys know how this dresser holds up using this system so but here are all of my Revlon polishes and Rimmel polishes and there's some minis down in there and yeah that's where I keep all of these ones just kind of drugstore polishes and then here I have my Essie and that's pretty much all I have here except for this Sally Hansen nail strip thing so yeah, I've tried to keep this drawer nice and light, and I will probably build up a little bit more on this side, but I have lots of room to grow, which I which is awesome. And then in the bottom drawer is more polish. 
And like I said, I didn't want to fill the drawer completely. If I put all of my polish in one drawer, it wouldn't, it would all fit in here with room even. Um, I did have it like that at first, but I noticed that this bottom drawer was really, really heavy and I didn't want to ruin this, so I split it up. So here is some Enfuo polish and finger paints, Island Girl, Sally Hansen, Butter London, Nina Ultra Pro, Nicole by OPI, Ciate, just a bunch of stuff. And in the very, very back here, I just have some of these glass bead things. And then more glass beads. This top coat that I don't like, I've just kind of got it shoved back there. And yeah, just random stuff. These, all of this stuff on this side is all of my top coats, my base coats, and any like nail treatments that I use. Um, and then some thinner, of course. And my Ciate mini bar. My caviar mini bar. Which I don't know if I've showed you guys inside of this yet, but here it is. It's got four bottles of mini Ciate polish and four bottles of the caviar. And yeah, I just love that thing. That's so cute. I love the box that it comes into. So yeah, that's what my bottom polish drawer looks like. So yeah, that is how, that is everything. All right here in my master bedroom, nicely tucked away. I prefer the system so much more. I love having everything in one spot, not having to go searching for it. Um, yeah, and of course I still do have all of my nail polish remover up here, up out of the way where my son can't get to it on, again, the Riba shelves, um, the shorter versions. So yeah, that is how those look. But other than that, that's the only thing that I don't have like with the rest of my stuff. Everything else is with it. So yeah, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought in the comments below. Um, I'm really looking for feedback and I really, really appreciate constructive criticism criticism sorry if you do make videos let me know what you think I can improve on and what you think I need to work on and what you liked even if you see anything in this video that you want to review on or my opinion on please comment below also and let me know so yeah and don't forget you can also follow me on Facebook Melissa Rose 0410 as well as Instagram Twitter Tumblr I'm on all the social media sites so just go ahead and look for me I look forward to hearing from you guys. Bye.